Breaking news. Presidency hits autumn, blames him for death of Nigerians. Hello, my wonderful people. It will shock you today to know that the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, is blaming Governor Samuel Otom. Excuse me, Nigerians. Who is in charge of security? Now, I need to explain something to you. Don't think that the governor of your state has right eh, to call police. Go to, for instance, Ojota and make sure that there is calm there. I heard that there is unrest. Listen, if that same police officer, eh, the commissioner of police in that same Lagos state, hears and gets from the IGP saying, don't go there yet. Go to Yanakbaja. Eh, don't go to uh, Jota for now. The governor will be left hang and dry. Nothing will happen. Nobody will go there. Do you know why? The policing system or the security system in this country is centrally controlled by one man. And that is in the hand of the Fulani. That's why the security of the country is what it is. That's why we need to pray because this man is the one controlling and uncontrolling. That's why he will not ask the full needs to leave. Because if governors get the rights to control the asset, everybody will protect their borders against this full needs, which would hinder his full needs agenda. Can you see what is happening? Why will you blame Samuel Otom? What has he done to you? Excuse me. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Presidency hits Otom, blames him for death of innocent Nigerians. The presidency has accused Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State of stirring up hate statement by targeting an ethnic group using language remorseful. The senior special assistant of President Muhammad Buhari, of President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Garu Bashe, was said in a recent statement titled "Consigning Samuel Governor Samuel Otom, the Governor of Benue State." Shewu said, as was the case in Roman Romania when the Adolf Hitler hit, instead of the countrymen fighting together, they were against each other claiming there is a secret agenda over what is going on in Nigeria. Otom claimed there was a Fulani secret Fulanization agenda over ethnic groups in his state and in Nigeria. He said the wicked talk was aimed at giving cover to his so-called policy on the ranch establishment law, which is relatively purely an act of denial of law intended to withhold rights and freedom from one ethnic group alone while inciting racial hatred against them, among others. Part of the statement reads, Governor Samuel Otom has few political principles. We can see from see this from the fact that he has changed political parties five times during his, in, inaugura his inauguration and his career. Every time he feels the wind may blow in a certain direction, he follows it. Unfortunately for the good citizens of Benway State, the most dangerous direction he blew today is the side of criticism and facing a particular ethnic group, the Fulanese, carrying out cheap publicity on the open grazing routes. The president is trying to create peace and in doing so, knowingly causing death of innocent Nigerians by citing farmers against herders, Christians against Muslims. These are not the reactions of a man who should be trusted with ruling public service or holding public office. For the governor of a major state in Nigeria to be politically driven by ethnic hate is a stain on our co country. The good and fair-minded people of Benue State deserve more than this. And looking forward to the next election when we have the opportunity to restore the greatness. Autumn was a guest at the Chinese TV Sunrise Daily on Tuesday. He flagged the administration of Muhammad Buhari, describing it as the worst that has ever handled security matters in the country. Why will he be against Buhari and the Fulani, saying that the country president wants to Fulanize the country? There is no secret agenda. He is the secret agenda. You can tell that this country has gone to the dogs. What do I mean by that? How can he aid? be talking to an elected governor in that regard.
if it is just one person who has spoken to these very aids in that regard you will see the reaction but guess what nigeria it is what it is okay uh, anybody i mean if some people we've told you again and again that the laws in nigeria are different and uh, it's not the same law for everybody some persons can do some things and go away with it. Why some other persons have to be indicted for it? This is how Nigeria is run today and this is how the things are. Governor Samuel Otom has told Nigerians again and again that there is a secret agenda. You don't need Samuel Otom to tell you that. You just need to know that there really is, there really is a secret agenda. What is Buhari's fight for, for cows in this country? People are dying. He makes no statement. Things are happening. Buhari has no words to say to Nigeria. A cow dies. The president comes out of hiding. Is that not enough to point out to you that there is more to this than is beyond just the, just the, uh, the, the cows? And this, the sad thing eh, with all this matter is that there are people in government who you think should normally speak, yeah, and be on the side of the masses, the people, and be able to speak up for them and say, oh, this is wrong, this is not acceptable. Sadly, they are all part and parcel. Nobody's saying anything. It's really, I mean, I'm really shocked by it. Some people from the south, some people from other regions who you think that, I mean, I can excuse those from the northern regions. I can really excuse them because birds of a feather flock together. Yes, same old habits. I mean, it dies, it dies hard. So I can understand those from the same region who are fraternizing to keep the country in perpetual darkness and, you know, continue because, I mean, once you have tasted power, you don't want somebody else to come in there. You want to continuously stay there and make the other subordinates. You know, absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's why in government, there are arms of government to ensure that the government is checked, especially the president. Sadly, we don't have that in Nigeria because they've all come together to fraternize. Now, listen, we are not, uh, we are not advocating for Bukola Saraki. He was not uh, a saint after all. But what are we saying? The Senate, the House of Representatives is supposed to caution the government. All this issue of borrowing and unnecessary spending where they bring the money and they divide it and share they use the other parts to do whatever they say they are doing buying refurbished items instead of buying real items to be used to construct proper rails and buy proper locomotive proper trains and the rest they go ahead they share the money so they have more to themselves and nobody says anything you see welcome to nigeria sadly these arms of government do not question the integrity of what is going on Bulanese are more buhari's agenda than every other person put together so do you blame samuel otom my answer is no leave us a comment please don't forget to like or share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you bye for now